Schlieffen might be one of the most hyped ships in World of Warship Legends that I have seen, and for good reason. The German battlecruiser line has quickly become fan favorites. They're fun, they're dangerous, and they have tons of secondaries. What's not to like? Schlieffen will cap the top of the battlecruiser list above the notorious Prince Ruprecht at Legendary Tier. It is available to start in the Bureau now for 30 million silver or for 5,000 doubloons. More on that later. Schlieffen has a scary secondary armament and the longest secondary range in the game. Does she live up to the hype? I'd say yeah. Yeah, she does. This is peak German battleship brawling. Really, it doesn't get any better than this as far as brawling is concerned. She's fast, has great sonar, 16 torpedoes, and is just tanky enough. The game in the background, 5v5. Well, that's not very exciting. But what if I were to tell you I kill all five enemy ships? Would you be a little more intrigued? <laughs> Alright, for starters, how am I building this thing? 100% without even a question in my mind, full secondaries. If there are still those out there who think running secondaries is a bad idea or not the meta, I disagree, and German battlecruisers seem to prove this over and over again. I've had enough successes in the Zeton and Prince of Ruprecht. I think it works pretty well. I'm currently using the secondary module, damage control module, concealment, and the epic secondary booster. My premium build would be Hyde with Hipper and Justinian Lions, the old flamethrower build. Basically, full secondaries after that and Master Mechanic and Fight Fire with Fire. If I were free to play, I would go with Ciliax using the same build, Von Hipper and maybe Guiprat or Kondo. Guiprat and a speed flag, you could have the Schlieffen cruising around at 37 knots, and that could help you get in and out of situations pretty quickly, so that would be an interesting build, especially now that Guiprat got buffed. 6% as an inspiration if you were fully maxed. So how does Schlieffen stack up to the other legendary battleships? She's not as tanky as other German battleships, I would say, and HP-wise she falls behind the pack. Effective HP as well, but Burgonia is still the low man on the totem pole here. The armor is definitely worth taking a look at. You do have an overmatchable bow, but also a great icebreaker, so it's going to come down to if enemies actually know where to shoot or not. The deck is 50 millimeters. That's awesome. And while there is no turtleback armor scheme, it's a reasonably well concealed citadel, especially when you compare it to Yamato. The secondary batteries and the torpedoes they do tend to get knocked out pretty easily, though, so be careful. On to the guns. The main battery isn't really that impressive. You have eight 420 millimeter guns. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger than the Ruprecht and the Zeton. That's something, I guess. But Alpha Strike and volume of fire wise, this is the worst legendary battleship. So again, I wouldn't spec too much into the main guns. You have other battleships for that, like Yamato, Montana. Well, basically every other battleship besides Grosser Kerfurst. DPM wise, Schlieffen is going to be dead last for the main guns. But what really matters is the fantastic secondary armament. 8 kilometers base range. That's the best in the game. I've seen some builds go up to 12.7 kilometers, I believe. That would be using Harona. Mine is sitting at 12.1 with Lions. 24 105 millimeter guns and 16 150s. That is a metric crap ton. The secondaries have, of course, been buffed this update as well. So the 150s are going to pin 38 millimeters of armor. And it's pretty noticeable, I think. The Torps. Eight on each side. Now they're very slow, so aiming them can be more tough than you might think. I believe these are the same torpedoes as Elbing. They're very slow, like 54 knots. Enemies have tons of time to avoid them. But with all of these offensive bells and whistles, Schlieffen has a ton of ways to deal damage. And in the right spot, she prints damage pretty well. Moving on though, the AA, it's not amazing, but at least it's better than the Grosser Kerr first. What really makes Schlieffen special though, aside from the bonkers secondaries, is her speed. 34.1 knots base. This is the quickest BB at legendary tier. Borgonia, of course, gets her speed from a speed boost consumable, but Schlieffen gets around the map very quickly. Her turning circle leaves a little bit to be desired though, and I found myself missing the Prince Ruprecht in this sense. The rudder is relatively quick though for these big ships, and the concealment is second only to the Conqueror, so stats-wise Schlieffen has a lot going for her. The good parts of Schlieffen doesn't end there. She has sonar with a 5.7 kilometer ship detection, and it lasts 120 seconds. It's just so much better and more useful than the Grosser Kerfer sonar. So. This ship costs 30 million silver to even begin researching it, or 5k dubs. That's a little annoying, yes. I mean, I've been saving silver basically the whole last update, and now I have to spend one third of it just to initiate researching this ship. 
that I might get by summer. <laughs> it sucks, I get it. But on the flip side, I do appreciate some more of these gateways and keeping ultra noobs out of the high tiers. And hear me out here. Schlieffen is not an easy battleship to play, in my opinion, therefore super noobs might not get the best mileage out of it. Whereas, they could load into Yamato and Conqueror and doing pretty well because these ships are quite forgiving. Schlieffen in this sense is more of the late game content that some of us more veteran players have been craving. And I think putting a little bit of a gateway here to not stop, but slow down player access to it is fine with me. Like mentioned, I don't think this is the easiest battleship to play. It's basically always a discussion in your mind of whether or not you should push. And I'll admit, I get it wrong plenty of times. I've overcommitted a ton, and usually it means a quick trip back to port. The armor isn't as forgiving as some, and the 34 knots top speed helps you be fast enough to outrun your team and run right into the jaws of red team. I suppose a thoughtful reading of the map would be my best advice in playing these German battle cruisers. Know what you're going up against before you push, and if you're in doubt, turn out. Take this example for instance. On Atlantic, I just wasn't sure what would be waiting around the corner, so we set ourselves up to kite out. Boy, am I glad we did. Turning in would have nosed us right into a Shimakaze, a Minotaur, a Pogonia, a Conqueror, and more. So making the correct decisions, really it's what German Battlecruiser play is all about, especially the Schlieffen, where uh, there's just so much DPM out there, it's, it's not very forgiving. I know it's not always the most glamorous play, but playing cautiously and getting to the late game should be your goal. Overall, I think this is an incredibly fun boat, and if you like brawling and you have some experience in the German Battlecruiser line, or at least the German Battleship line, I would highly recommend starting this in the Bureau. Definitely take your time grinding the Zeton and the Ruprecht. It will teach you the best ways to get the most out of Schlieffen when you get here, and you'll enjoy it a lot more. I'm gonna give this thing 4.5 out of 5 stars, because it's so freaking fun. It has what it takes to deal with the majority of what you're going to be up against as well, and that is games heavy with battleships and destroyers. Yes, battleships are great at punishing cruisers, and I feel like that's what most of them are advertised as, but who cares when there are 5 battleships and 3 DDs in every match? And that's where German battlecruisers excel. They have sonar, stupid secondaries for DDs, and they have stupid secondaries and torpedoes for the BBs. It's just a great combination. Well, that is my two cents, so thank you for listening. Do me a favor, hit the like button, as that would greatly help me out, and let me know in the comment section down below what your initial thoughts are on Schlieffen. I would love to hear from you. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.